Uh, good evening from Little Creek Bee Ranch. Here's a little bit more about uh, the wax rendering process. This is our hot pot. This is the dirty pot we were talking about. And uh, we've already done our uh, soap ring around the top edge and added our uh, pitcher of hot water. And now what you see is I'm taking a mesh strainer and just trying to get out the gunk. See all the the dirty gunk, dirt, bees, all the stuff. By doing by doing this, it saves on the amount of scraping that I'll have to do on the bottom of the, of the block, on the bottom side of the block tomorrow. See if you can kind of sift out um, floating debris and dirt. The trick is you got to keep the screen hot, so you got to keep it in the pot without. The whole screen slipping in the pot you know you don't want that but, but these are things a lot of people don't get to see in beekeeping how do how do people get their wax rendered down you know i mean if it's a commercial process it's different but for somebody with five to forty colonies and we'll get a lot of the dirt and gunk out of here see all that it was a whole lot while ago. I thought, well, I'll film this as well. Just make sure you don't drop your iPhone in the hot, hot wax. That's not good. I'm going to let it drip. And then just have a little two gallon bucket with the Walmart sacks. Just kind of tap it out of there. See? Do it again. I don't know. Might do this for. 10 or 15 minutes, the water and the wax are already, you know, melted hot together. And the top edge has already got the soap ring laid in. So when I'm done with this, I will uh, shut off the heat. Now that's pretty good. So what I'm watching for is the le less and less gunk in the screen. And then I'll shut it down for tonight and do, do the rest tomorrow. But you know, if you don't, nobody ever shows you, you're not ever going to know how to get how to get there. Does that make sense? So we do a lot of filming for that reason. I can't have 300 people out here for a class, but I can do a lot of filming. Just don't drop your screen or the iPhone in the hot wax. No. Okay, so so that's cool for me. See, just that right there. It ain't worth scooping anymore. So, I'll let that drip off. Yep, let that drip off. And then I'll just tap it in here. And that is, that is stay in the can just like that. And what I do is I will come over here. Actually, I'll unplug it, but I'm going to turn it off. Wow. Heat's off. And I'll unplug it. Oh, and here's the plug. That's fine me. Okay, come on, there we go. Unplugged. Okay, so now it's going to cool down and the wax will rise the top the water will pull down there'll be dirt on the bottom of the block and dirt on the bottom of the pan and now that i got a lot of this gunk and junk out there's quite a bit dirt you'd be surprised how much dirt bees and stuff's inside get all that out and we'll uh do that two or three times have a great block of wax it just takes time but those are the tips man get to it We'll see you.